Hello, friends. Oh, spooky, spooky. My friends over at Drink Craft Repeat asked me if I would carve a pumpkin for crafting with cocktails. So here we go. Crafting with cocktails. I'm wearing my spooky shirt, and I have my spooky pumpkins, and I have my spooky sunflowers. The spooky. So I'm not going to be carving a real pumpkin. I'm going to be carving a fake pumpkin. And I decided to do this because I want to carve crafting with cocktails into the pumpkin itself. Now I used to do this for a living, so hopefully it turns out okay. I've never done this drunk before. There's always an opportunity for new experiences. Uh -huh. So you can start by actually drawing it on there uh, with a pencil or something. Here's a pencil. Here's or something. Because I have a heated knife. Also probably a bad idea when you're drunk. Which means that we can see if Grant will cut off his finger and burn it at the same time. Okay, you can't see any of that. Ta-da! So how do we do this? Well, frankly, that's a great question. The nice thing about the heated knife, <coughs> even though it makes some horrible fumes, it does cut very smoothly. I'm gonna get a non-heated little exacto blade, pull out the pieces. Ooh, foam pumpkin bits. Mm. Ooh, still you can't tell what that is. Try not to cut toward yourself, as fun as it might be. It's kind of like drawing, but sharper. Um, yeah. I feel like I didn't make this like folly enough and, and October enough. Oh, hold on. Pumpkin puree. Now I feel like we've really succeeded here. It's now fall. Here we go. I think that looks close enough. Now I get to type right out the rest of it. I can probably just wing this. Why not, right? A pretty decent C. We're off to a great start. One of the nice things about these fake pumpkins, you can also just push everything into the inside. Yep, already screwing it up. Gummy. Upon discovering that watching me do this is extraordinarily boring, I've decided to spice it up a little bit. Alright, are we ready? This will go perfectly well. Okay. Ah, there we go. I'm so excited now. That's the right pumpkin. Nope. There we go. There it is. Okay. Grab your shiv. And just start digging at it. Just kidding, I'm not that dumb. But see, this is pretty good so far. I wrote crafting. As we go along, I'm discovering that I'm not being as accurate anymore. <laughs> w. Boom. W-I. Because why not? Now, don't be afraid to make this more stylish. For example, don't make your letters sans serif. Uh, don't use comic sand. Sand? Don't use comic sand. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna refill my wine. I'm getting kind of drunk. But I'm almost there! Look, friends. So that's pretty good, I think. We've done well. Ooh. All right, we have two letters left. Three letters left. I can spell. <laughs> you did it. You might want to do this when you're sober, though. <laughs> yeah, doing this while sober is probably a good idea. So the thing about this is, it's great and all from the front, but you could also create something on the back. Possibly with a larger hole so you can actually stick a faux candle in there. Because you don't want to stick a real candle in this shit. It's flammable. What are we going to put in the back? <laughs> Let's just make a wine glass. So I think one of the important things here is to have a nice theme for your pumpkin. Mine is clearly drinking. A beverages. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh, that's bright. This turned out pretty darn well. Bling, 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 bling. A little wine glass in the back. A special happy Halloween from Crafting with Cocktails. 